I'm back, losers. Welcome back, Donald. How was prison? I still can't sit right. What was that? Nothing. Anyways, I saw that you treacherous rhinos decided to play Batman without me. Yeah, we weren't gonna wait for your pumpkin ass to be set free. Wow, I can't believe I was playing with such fake friends. Man, no one cares what your orange ass has to say. All you ever do is spout out malarkey. Stop lying, Joe. Maybe if you didn't sound like you were half dead, then maybe we would respect you. Donald, don't bring up that trash ass debate to this. Let's just continue with the game and forget about the debate for today. Of course you would want to avoid the debate. After all, I obliterated Sleepy Joe. Really now? Then tell me, how would you handle the war in Ukraine? Well, first of all, I have to say that if I was in office, then that shit would have never happened. Secondly, I must say that Joe has no fucking clue how to properly stand up. Just look at him. Donald, this is Discord. Oh. Haha, <laughs> take that fat ass. I have no idea why you're laughing, Joe. Your ass didn't do any better. Come on, Barack, do I have to tell you how badly I destroyed Donald in that debate? I sent his ass packing. Fake news. The dementia is strong today, so let me remind you how it actually happened. Do I really have to be here? There wasn't someone else to pay so they could referee too. Sir, you're live. Oh shit, welcome people of America to the presidential debate of- Yeah, can we just get this over with? I got places to be, shit to do. Donald, don't be rude. Sorry, miss, you can continue. Right, so this question is for you, former President Trump. How would- Okay, so cut that former shit. We all know that I will win this debate, then the presidency. In fact, you could have substituted Joe for an open coffin, and it would be like he was here. This man is not even real. He's an NPC. What a load of malarkey if- Mr. President, please speak when it's your turn. All right, my bad, Mary. Right. So, Mr. Trump? Stop right there. I already know what you're going to ask. You do? Yeah, it's pretty obvious, and the answer is yes, this orange tan is natural. And I know you're jealous, but for a limited time offer, I can share you the same sunscreen I used to get this for $499.65. Believe me, it's going to be the best investment you will ever make. Did, did you just sneak in an ad for... Man, this debate is going to shit real quick. You know, we can hear that, right? Good. Now, Mr. President, tell us how you would handle gun control. So first, we demand the buyer to show us their medical history, no but or ifs. They are going to be forced by law to show us those documents. They will also be checked if they had any criminal past. How would you enforce that, President Biden? It's a gun store, so we hold them at gunpoint. Now, let me tell you how. Shut your lard ass up, Donald. It's still my turn. You don't have to be so rude. Next, for those who don't have a criminal past of any debilitating medical history, they are forced to take a test. The test itself will ask them to pick their favorite ice cream flavor. Should we stop him? Hold on, let him cook. Of course, there will only be one right answer. Chocolate chocolate chip, if they pick anything else, then they are clearly a psychopath and should be shot immediately. That's a bit brutal. Also, they will be asked if they had any sexual Mr. relationship President. with Mr. President, Mr. President, Mr. President, can you hear me? Yeah, I remember that differently. How are you even alive? It sounded like cement when you fell down. I got fed up with people saying that I can't stand up straight and that I fall asleep too much. So I had my skeleton coated in steel, hoping that would help me with my posture. In hindsight, almost anyone would realize how bad of an idea that is. Too bad we're dealing with a dementia riddled old man. Oh, come on, man. So do you just have steel coated bones like a wish.com Wolverine? Basically. How are you even moving around actually? There's no way you're actually strong enough to move around with all that steel. My mind is weak, but my body is strong. Well, that's what Jill tells me anyways. Just look at that perfection. When I get back to office, the first thing I'll do is contract the military to build me a Trump mobile. And do what with it? You clearly aren't going to do anything good. Oh, shut up, Barry. Maybe I'll let you drive it if you give me an N-word pass. Hmm. Only if you pardon me for my crimes that I will commit with the Trump mobile. Oh, shit. Uh, I didn't actually think I'll get this far. Wait, can I also have a spin of the Trump mobile? I know if I win a second term, Kamala won't allow me to do anything fun. We're supposed to be mortal enemies right now, but I'll be a little nice and give you some advice. Just slap the bitch, Joe. You're the goddamn president and no one can tell you no. With the Supreme Court making the president a king, he means it literally. But, um, don't actually do that, Joe. I'll keep that in mind, Donald. Thanks. Uh. 
Okay, we should be getting closer to where Harley took Commissioner Gordon. Oh man, I can't wait to see my beautiful clown see. What the fuck, Joe? Come on, Barack, don't be acting like you never wanted Michelle to dress up like Harley. Actually, maybe not. Just imagining that gave me shivers. I have no clue why you even like this design of Harley. This suit is the worst iteration next to the Suicide Squad design. It's not that bad, but I would rather she took off that goofy ass mask. Almost like her Arkham City version. Still nothing can beat the skin tight red and black version. That is the definitive Harley Quinn design. Won't argue with you there, Big Orange. Man, I gotta search up all of these Harley Quinn costumes. Maybe I can have Jill wear one. Joe, keep those thoughts to yourself. Hello? Finally, I swear I thought I was watching a documentary about your life, Obama. You were swinging around like you were back home. Donald, you're lucky your beach ball ass is at home and not clear. next to me. You're safe now. Or else I would have given you flashbacks about your prison time. Oh yeah, I forgot you went to prison. So, any interesting stories you can tell us, Donald? Oh, uh, of course. You know when I was first sent there, this big looking guy came up to me and started to mess with my luscious hair. Thugs Calling that wet raccoon hair is an hostage. insult to hair as a concept. Have anyone with them? Shut the hell up, Barry. Did this is about me, not there? you. I couldn't tell Where was I? They oh, right. So he was messing with my hair and I told him, keep that shit up and I'll knock your teeth out, no cap. Really? And fine. here I thought you'll be someone's bitch. Glad to see you got some balls, Donald. Dead. Joe, if he we actually said that, his ass would have gotten a one-way ticket to heaven. If anyone goes near you without Joker's express permission, then I've been ordered to make sure you are taken out ASAP. Looks like you're a fighter. No, no, no. Damn, I should have checked if there were more guys. How didn't you know Obama? Wouldn't you have insight into these sorts of things? I'm not entertaining that idea, Donald. Wait, doesn't this look familiar, guys? Um, no, what the hell are you talking about, Sleepy Joe? Are you having a dementia moment? If so, remember to press the green button and not the red one. Yeah, I remember. But what I'm talking about was actually something quite popular. I think the girl was surrounded by five Obamas and was sitting on a couch instead. Joe, you cannot be talking about that shit. Why, is it bad? Don't listen to him, Joe. Barack is just being a wuss. You should actually search it up. It's a pretty wholesome video. It's called- That's enough. No more talk about that video. Come on, Barry, I'm a big boy now. I finally stopped watching that brain rot Coco Melon and moved on. Oh, really? So tell us, what show are you watching now? I'm watching Bubble Guppies, man. I love those small kids dancing and just singing around. When will you grow up, Joe? He's already too far gone, Obama. Got a few more surprises in store for you. Prepare to face your fears. All of them! <laughs> Whoa, what the hell is Batman getting sprayed in? Either that's Joker's laughing gas or Scarecrow's fear toxin. Is that fear toxin? Oh, sweet Mother Mary, please don't let it be that. What the hell? I thought we were playing Batman. Obama, please, can we finish this later? I don't have my depends with me right now. You better suck it up, Joe, because we're not stopping because you pissed yourself. If only Scarecrow was real, the amount of pranks I can pull off would be amazing. Yeah, too bad all those pranks would all be against the Geneva Convention. There's no point in a prank if there's no stakes in place. Are you guys just not seeing what's happening? Commissioner Gordon is dead and Batman has red eyes. Guys, this is getting too scary. Joe, stop being a puss and suck it up. If you want to see something real scary, just look at the Suicide Squad. Kill the Justice League game. Now that shit is scary. I'm sorry. Man, I remember when the game was announced right after the disastrous launch of Gotham Knights. I was gullible enough to believe that it would turn out good after hearing that it was connected to the Arkhamverse. I damn near made the Geneva Convention look like child's play. Ah! Obama, hold me. Keep it together, Joe. Isn't there a day where you don't embarrass yourself or the country? Don't worry, Obama, once I sweep Joe at the elections, I'll make America great again. You'll just be switching out a clown for an even bigger clown, quite literally, too. At least when I embarrass myself, it can be funny. Just look at my clean-ass dab I gave out. I'm glad our handshake stuck with you, Joe. Yeah, that was pretty clean, but that's about the only nice thing I can say about you, Joe. Oh, 
Oh, sweet Mother Mary, I don't think I can handle this. Joe, it's just a game. It's not like you're actually in the Arkhamverse, because if you were, then Gotham would have been cooked. Now, if it were me and Gotham, I would have saved it day one. Believe me, just look at how I handled the United States. Then Gotham would have been erased from the earth. You're lucky that I came in from your disastrous presidency to save this wonderful country. Guys, stop. We promised that we would leave the politics out from our gaming sessions. You're lucky that your boyfriend came and saved you, Joe. We only dated for a day before Michelle came and snatched him away from me. Wait, what? What are you trying to do? Finally, I was starting to fall asleep. I thought you were scared, Joe. Yeah, but now I'm starting to feel a bit eepy, so see you guys later. Jill has to put parental control on that man's phone. Honestly, I guess I'll be seeing you later, Obama. Yep, see you later, Donald. Hopefully you can sit better next time. Wait, you knew?